a new workplace sitcom created by a writer on The Office is bringing that same type of comedy but with a Canadian twist. Have a look. Yeah, you know, sometimes with these older machines, it's just best to restart. Shelved is set at a public library in Toronto's Parkdale neighborhood, and it follows this hilarious group of staff as they navigate working at an underfunded branch. Lindy Greenwood, who you just saw in that clip, plays Wendy Yarmouth. She's the head of the branch, and she joins us this morning. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Listen, <laughs> librarians wouldn't necessarily think comedy, but it's, in fact, the opposite. It is rife with comedy. <laughs> yes. Right? Yeah. How does Shelved resemble the sense of humor that we might have seen on other workplace dramas like or comedies like The Office? Well, uh, it is a workplace comedy, so mm -hmm. that is uh, something that you'll find is similar. And Anthony Q. Farrell, who wrote on The Office, created uh, this show. So it's got this sort of, um, there's like similar camera movements. It's, it's not a mockumentary, but it's got that sort of similar what? flavor. Um, and because we're in a workplace, we get to see these people interact every day and uh, different clientele come in every day. So that's sort of what drives the storytelling. And you would think, because I think people have an idea, an imagined idea of what a librarian is or how they think or how yeah. they function, but you get to see it <laughs> totally different things. Many different uh, librarians in this show. Yeah. Lady, you were born and raised in Toronto. You spent a lot of time, you were telling me, in yeah. local libraries. Um, what kind of similarities would you say between yourself and between your character? Oh, sure. Uh, Wendy is sort of an amped up version of my my sort of kindest, most community-driven oh. self. Um, so she's definitely a part of me. Um, I do love people, and I'm pretty warm, but she's, like, dialed up to 11 in and that respect. You say doing this has rekindled your love of libraries. I have a friend yeah. who's a librarian in Stratford, Ontario, and, you know, one of the things that's sad is that people visit the library less. We have Google on our phones. We don't need to go and look through the... The, the card index anymore. Yeah, 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 it has. When I came back to Toronto to shoot the show, I went back to my old library, the you Lillian did. Smith at College in Spadina, got myself a library card you and did. spent quite a bit of time there. It's so lovely. It's such a wonderful space where like anyone can go, get a book, sit down, so many different types of resources in the library. So I hope this does rekindle a lot of people's love for the library. I learned that uh, before Shelved, you were planning to take a step away from acting. What yeah. is it about the show, your character, the idea of it that drew mm. you back in? Well, many things. I've always wanted to do comedy, um, but also just the authenticity to Toronto, to um, to this specific place that I'm from. Mm -hmm. It just felt so right to be able to come back and work in my hometown and not have to mask my accent. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it just feels really, really good to be home. And what is it about the show that you're hoping that audiences will connect with? Oh, uh, it's just a really warm show. Um, it is about community coming together. It's about um, making lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> and um, I think, I hope people take joy from it. Lots to laugh at. Yeah. And now I'm so curious to go back to my library and be like, does this happen? Is this person like yeah, that you person? you should. I'm sure they'll have many stories for you. <laughs> Lindy, thanks for coming. It was great to have you here. My pleasure. Welcome back to Toronto and the libraries. Thank you. Uh, Shell <laughs> premieres tonight at 9.30 Eastern uh, and Pacific on CTV. Come hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.